Oh, Rose, hi. Listen, I just picked up these pamphlets at a cosmetic surgeon, and I want you to help me decide which alterations I ought to get. Blanche, none of these women have any tops on. Well, I know, honey. These are the after pictures of satisfied customers. I was thinking about having my breasts done like hers. All right, Blanche, but do you think black really suits you? <laughs> about the shape. See, these are regal and dignified and upscale <laughs> and 50% off. <laughs> Dr. Rosenzweig overordered on the Vixen 3 model. Blanche, are you sure you're not being a bit silly? Why? Let me tell you something. When I was a schoolgirl, I developed early and all the boys noticed and hit on me. Not one boy was ever interested in my mind. Get out of here. It's true. But you, Blanche, I mean, men are drawn to you because of your charm and your wit and your zest for life. I mean, you can have the operation or not. Men won't care one bit about your breasts. Really, Rose? Not with me around. Oh, hi, girls. Did you all find Lillian? You bet we did. And that sunny pastures was everything that Ma said it would be. And how there was crud on the floor, rats in the hallway, and 60 people to every blanket. It wasn't fit for human life. Although in my village in Sicily, it would have been a two-star motel. <laughs> Ma, you're exaggerating, but not by much. It was pretty bad. Boy, when you hear horrible stories like that, it brings up so many questions. It sure does. Why do we let things like this happen? Why can't we care for our elderly the way they do in Japan? Why are there 17 sets of hooters on the coffee table? <laughs> Those are mine, Sophia. <laughs> Oh, well, let me put on my big surprise face. <laughs> oh, I just wish there was something we could do for the poor thing. There is. I, I want to sort of adopt Lily and visit her often. I'm going to need rides. Oh, you can count on us, Oh, we sure can. Uh, absolutely. Now, come on, it's getting late. Let's get dinner. Hmm? Notice how they seem to follow you wherever you go? 